Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to my humble little garage here. Um, today I got kind of a cool tool I wanted to show you guys. It's, it's to help uh, reinstall your tire. It doesn't help you take it off, but it helps you put it back on. And it's by Baja No Pinch Tool. Um, I'll put links in the description for it, but yeah, so I'll just do a quick video. Um, I'll fast forward parts that are boring, but uh, the stuff that is important, I'll, I'll slow it down. So yeah, let's get started. So when you get the tool, you, if you get the ultimate kit that comes with different, this goes through your axle like that. And you can order different, uh, you know, axle sizes for different bikes. I think they have an ultimate kit and it comes with all of them. So yeah, and you can, there's a little set screw in the bottom and this handle screws in. That's how you adjust. There's a little, there's a little gear right here. You can see it moves like that and that's how, that's how you adjust the, your gear lash for the little gear. So yeah, I'll throw it. I got one of my old rims here. It's not an important one. It's just one I had kicking around. So I thought it'd be good for a demonstration. So yeah, let's give her a try. So I always, I know there's a million ways to change a tire and this, this video is not really about how to change a tire. It's, I'm just giving you a demonstration on how the tool works. But when I do mine, I use soapy, just dish detergent and I soak the rim and the tire really good. I use lots. And I always start at the rim lock here. I just lay it down and then push my rim lock like that. Make sure the rim lock's in there. I might have to get a different angle here in a minute so you guys can actually see what's going on. Pretty slick though, you just pull on the lever, just bite a couple inches at a time, and it just forces the, the bead over the rim. It's really quite slick, to be honest. Go a little bit from each side. Once you get it working good, it just slides over. It's really simple like that. And then I always put my tube, my hole, across from me. Then I just poke it through and just put the nut on to keep it from moving around. And then I soak the tube like crazy. I just use sunlight, I think, or one, you know, one of the dish detergents. I'll probably do lots more videos like this too. I've got a few different products. You know, I got new skid plates for the 690 there and a rear rack and stuff. So I'll probably go over some of that stuff. So yeah, soak the heck out of everything. That's how I do it. I know that there's lots of ways you guys can do it, so. This has always worked for me and I've done it for many, many years like this, so seems to work okay. The only place you gotta watch when you're pushing it in is around the rim lock, because it can get pinched in there. Actually, all my other bikes have tubeless, so we won't even have to mess with a tube on those bikes. So there's the rim lock, you just gotta be a little careful there. So I'm just gonna flip this camera around, see if I can get a bit better angle for you guys to see what's going on here. Lots of soapy water. So drop the tool in the axle, through the, where the axle, through the rim. And then I start away from the rim lock. Might have to just help it a little bit to get the bead started down there. Take little bites at a time. You could use like a bead buddy or you know like a 
something that assists you in holding it down like that. Once you get it started though, it's easy as can be. I'm just going to flip that camera around a bit. But change the camera a little bit there. It's kind of hard to get a good angle to show you guys this. Really, I should have a camera above my head. I think you should be able to see that. So just grab a few inches at a time. And then I go the other side of the rim lock, back over here. But you can see how easy, it's almost effortless. The other cool thing is you don't really mess up your rim if you're careful. You know, with, with tire irons, or spoons, or whatever you want to call them, you'll get big marks, nasty marks. So make sure your tire's down on the, on the inside the rim a little bit. And we're going to be getting to the hard part here in a minute that most, most people don't like to do. Add a little soapy water. So this is the part most people don't care for. Because that's where the tire is the hardest to get over. But check this out here. So we'll just bite a couple inches at a time. Got to make sure you're inside the rim there. Bite a little from each side. So it's really not a lot of force. So the last bit I push my rim lock up. And it just pops right over like that. And I didn't even break a sweat doing that. So you can see how cool it would be, you know, if you're, you're a racer and you're in the back of your trailer or the back of your truck or something. And it's just a great little tool. I, I, I'm looking forward to doing lots of tires with it. So yeah, I hope that clears it up. I had a few people ask how it works. So there you go. Make sure you guys check out some of my other videos, hit the playlists, I've got tons of, I do riding lessons and all kinds of things on my channel, so I've got a whole ton of bikes here too, CR500 and stuff, so drop a comment and let me know what you think, hit the like button and definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.